the Big Bang is a K-pop group. You gotta get through that, then you get to the origin of the universe. It's gonna enclose everything we've been talking about up to that moment. The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted explanation for how the universe came to be. Simply defined, it states that the universe as we know it began with an unimaginably hot and dense single point that expanded and stretched, at first at unimaginable rates, then at a more quantifiable rate over the next 13.8 billion years to form the still expanding cosmos we see today. Because current technology does not allow astronomers to directly peek back into the universe's birth, much of what we know about the Big Bang is based on mathematical calculations and models. Astronomers, on the other hand, can witness the echo of the expansion via a phenomenon known as the cosmic microwave background. The problem is that everything prior to the Big Bang is incomprehensible. However, with the recent rise of preprint papers and popular science articles on the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope, old assertions that the Big Bang did not occur have been circulating on social media and in the media. According to one researcher, the JWST images are causing panic among cosmologists, or those who study the beginnings of the universe. What are the latest JWST images? How do the graphics show that the Big Bang theory was factually incorrect? To discover out, let's look at the information provided by the James Webb Space Telescope. Last year's launch of the James Webb Space Telescope sparked a lot of interest. The most advanced and expensive telescope ever built, the JWST, is currently operational and has the ability to completely and fundamentally revolutionise astronomy with a single discovery. The JWST's potential benefits far outweigh the risks connected with its launch. No other scientific equipment has shown such promise in terms of advancing humanity's understanding of the universe. As a result, scientists from all over the world have been lining up to use the telescope since it became operational. None of them, however, were prepared for one of the most outstanding findings made by the telescope. The JWST has captured photographs that challenge the Big Bang Theory after only a few weeks of operation. While the majority of the astronomical community accepts the theory, some theorists propose alternate explanations, such as everlasting inflation or an oscillating universe, in addition to the Big Bang. When cosmic inflation abruptly and mysteriously ended, the more traditional Big Bang theories took root. A torrent of matter and radiation, known as reheating, began populating our universe with the things we know today particles, atoms, matter that would form stars and galaxies, and so on. According to NASA, this all happened during the first second after the universe began, when the temperature of everything was still incredibly hot, at around 10 billion degrees Fahrenheit, 5.5 billion degrees Celsius. The universe now included a broad array of fundamental particles, including neutrons, electrons and protons, the raw ingredients that would become the building blocks for everything we know today. Because it couldn't hold visible light, this early soup would have been difficult to perceive. According to NASA, the free electrons would have caused light, photons, to scatter the way sunlight scatters from the water droplets in clouds. However, over time, these liberated electrons collided with nuclei, resulting in neutral atoms, or atoms with equal positive and negative electric charges. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, this allowed light to eventually shine through. This light is more properly known as the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, and it is sometimes referred to as the afterglow of the Big Bang. It was predicted by Ralph Alpha and other scientists in 1948, but it was discovered by chance approximately 20 years later. Scientists have been trying to figure out how to see the Big Bang through other means because we can't view it directly. In one scenario, cosmologists are using a large supercomputer to simulate 4,000 versions of the current universe in order to reach the first instant after the Big Bang. Although the Big Bang is sometimes described as an explosion, this is an inaccurate depiction. An explosion occurs when fragments are blasted out from a central point into an already existing space. If you were in the centre, you'd see that all of the bits were going away from you at roughly the same speed.
But that was not the case with the Big Bang. It was an expansion of space itself, a term derived from Einstein's equations of general relativity, but lacking in conventional classical physics. It signifies that all of the universe's distances are stretching out at the same rate. Any two galaxies separated by distance x recede from each other at the same rate, whereas a galaxy separated by distance 2x recedes at twice the rate. Millions of people's imaginations are profoundly implanted with the idea that the universe began with the Big Bang. However, the so-called science isn't as reliable as most people believe. Many scientists, including atheists and naturalists, acknowledge that the hypothesis has major faults, and the most recent James Webb Space Telescope images haven't assisted believers in the Big Bang idea. The JWST is designed to see electromagnetic infrared frequencies. Because light from very distant galaxies is redshifted to this part of the spectrum, the JWST should be able to take more detailed images of them. Indeed, an online comparison shows that Webb's deep field images are superior to Hubble's spectacular images. Long have creationists recognised that the Big Bang suffers from the mature faraway galaxy conundrum. Light from the most distant galaxies takes more than 13 billion years to reach Earth, according to the Big Bang Theory. As per Big Bang Theory, we should look at these extraordinarily distant galaxies as they were more than 13 billion years ago, not as they are now. As a result, these galaxies should appear unevolved and immature. But this expectation is repeatedly rejected, and preliminary web evidence confirms the trend. The preliminary results of the James Webb Space Telescope appear to indicate that large, dazzling galaxies formed during the first 250 million years after the Big Bang. If this is verified, it will severely undermine current cosmological views. Many of these galaxies appear to be more massive than the classical cosmological model, which describes the universe's composition and evolution. To be fair, these are preliminary findings that have yet to be confirmed. They are, however, clearly causing concern among Big Bang theorists. It worries me slightly that we find these monsters, galaxies, in the first few images, said University College London cosmologist Richard Ellis. This is way outside the box of what models were predicting, said Garth Illingworth of the University of California, Santa Cruz. The JWST photos contain a flaw in that they show an exceptionally large number of smooth, compact and ancient galaxies. Why does this appear to contradict the Big Bang Theory? Imagine the overly restricted perspective. We are witnessing a bizarre optical illusion if the universe is expanding. In reality, galaxies and other naturally occurring space objects do not appear to shrink as one moves away from them. They should grow in size exponentially after a certain point. Think about this. They got closer as their apparent brightness faded. This is in contrast to how things seem in non-expanding space where distance has the reverse effect and objects appear smaller as they get further away. The discovery of small galaxies by astronomers analysing JWST photos cannot be denied. When compared to Hubble photos, galaxies with brightness and mass greater than the Milky Way appear two to three times smaller. It's no surprise that the redshifts of the new galaxies are twice or three times those of the old ones. This type of action from an expanding cosmos is quite surprising. If the universe is not expanding, the JWST observed galaxies are the same size as the nearest galaxies, and redshift is proportional to distance. To account for the apparent optical illusion, these incredibly distant galaxies must be essentially abnormally small, according to the Big Bang hypothesis. The GHZ2 shines far brighter than the Milky Way. However, estimates indicate that its estimated radius is only 300 light years, or 150 times that of the Milky Way. If luminosity were measured by surface area, it would be 600 times brighter than the next galaxy. Its density would be many orders of magnitude greater than that of the galaxies seen now. What about the galaxy's smoothness? How does this affect the Big Bang Theory? There must be mighty mouse galaxies, which are small, dense galaxies, for the Big Bang idea to be correct. The JWST has made the situation even worse than it was before. 
According to the hypothesis, small galaxies grow into current galaxies by colliding and merging as they stretch out. As a result, many supporters of the Big Bang Theory believe we would find galaxies with apparent scars or rough edges from the collisions they experienced or survived. The JWST's unexpected discovery of very smooth disks and beautiful spiral patterns on the other hand took them by surprise. They appear in the same way that galaxies do today. According to the statistics, the number of smooth spiral galaxies in the photos was around 10 times more than predicted by theory. As a result, the pervasive nature of galaxy mergers is called into question. These findings refute the merging concept. So what happens when galaxies rarely merge? Individual galaxies cannot accumulate this much mass. Only mergers can result in such huge structures. As a result, we can assume that larger galaxies were never in the intermediate size range. It also means that the expanding universe hypothesis was mistaken in its prediction of an optical illusion, because the absence of an illusion proves that the universe is not growing. The illusion is a necessary outcome of expansion. The JWST photographs depict the furthest galaxies as they should have been 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. The star populations of several of these galaxies, on the other hand, are more than a billion years old. Nothing could have existed prior to the birth of these galaxies for a Big Bang to occur. If the Big Bang theory is right, the JWST should identify fewer galaxies as it searches further back in time. It would either stop monitoring distant galaxies or enter a cosmic dark phase. Scientists, on the other hand, are showing that massive galaxies such as the Milky Way continue to exist hundreds of millions of years after the alleged Great Bang. Scientists estimate that the number of galaxies in the latest JWST images is at least 100,000 times greater than what theory predicted for redshifts greater than 10, indicating that many massive galaxies originated quickly. If that's the case, it's hard to believe there was no Big Bang. Let us know what you think about the validity of the Big Bang Theory in the comments area below.